The Lake Erie ice cover this past winter was pretty much non-existent. Not only was there no ice fishing season, but the lack of ice has caused other problems that could be disastrous for our shorelines. Meteorologist Matt Willoughby is in Oregon along the shore of Maumee Bay to break down why this may be a problem for the area in the future. Matt? Yeah, now over the past uh, winter, the Great Lakes has seen its lowest ice cover ever on record. And with at least the waves, water, ice, and gravity continue to reshape the land and the water interface, it leaves experts no choice but to do things like build walls, prevent erosion, but it may not be the easiest to stop. With climate change, ice provides a protective barrier to our coastlines. Uh, basically negates a lot of the energy from waves uh, that might occur in the winter. You know, these winter storms uh, uh, whip up. Uh, ice would typically provide some protection to our coastlines. Without that ice cover, uh, we have the full brunt of wave action hitting the coastlines, uh, resulting in, in erosion. 60 to 90 percent of the shorelines along Ohio is protected by seawalls. But coming up at six, I'll be talking about how the coast erosion can be right at your doorstop if nothing is done. Reporting on the shore of Lake Erie, I'm your Matt Willoughby for WTO 11.